Hey, what's up? Welcome back. So now we're going to um, basically get the links for all of these genres so that we can scrape each of their pages. So let's create a list called genre links. And then let's print out all of the names of the genres that we have currently and start adding all of those links to our list. So let's just say print out all of the available genres. So we're going to say for index uh, genre and enumerate genres. We're going to print out string of the index plus a colon and then we're going to print out the text of the genre so if you remember like these a tags what's ever inside of the a tag for example this one is just house that's what it's going to print out and we're printing out the string of the index because we want to number these so that the user can make a choice and we can use that choice to determine which genre link we want to select. So we also need to append the genre link to our genre links list. So let's append genre.get href and this gets the href attribute. So as you can see in these here, href equals slash charts <coughs> sorry slash top <laughs> and then that's the genre all right so that's basically it for that loop and let's continue on let's make some space with a print and then we're going to get a choice here so choice equals input your choice we're going to select X to reselect to go or to go back to the main menu. And then make some more space. So if their choice is X, then they're going to want to break out of that loop and go back to the other, basically the main menu loop. But otherwise, then we're just going to convert choice to an integer. So choice equals int choice. And now we need to do another request like we did up here. But this time we're going to be getting the genre URL. So this is going to be like the page on SoundCloud that actually contains those top 50 tracks. So let's go ahead and do it. So it's URL equals SoundCloud. And then we need to add genre links at the index of our choice. So when the user made their choice up here, it basically printed out all of these genres, numbered zero through however many genres there are. And their choice is then the index of the link of that genre link. So say this this genre right here was number 25, then slash charts slash top genre equals pop would be the link stored at the 25th index in our genre links list. So that's just how we access it. Now we need to do another request. And we can to say request equals requests dot get URL like before and then our soup equals BS4 dot beautiful soup and our two parameters are the text of the request and we're going to format it as LXML again. So 
Now basically we need to parse this to get the tracks. So tracks, kind of like before, soup.select. This time we're going to be looking for something else though. So let's print out our request.txt again to find out what we need to get. Alright, so I'm going to run it real quick. I'll wait for this to load up. And we'll do four. Line 76, genre.getHref. Genre link is not okay, it's genre links. Genre links got a pen. Alright, let's run it again. Four. Okay, so you can see how they printed them all out. It starts with zero and goes up to 42 for all the different genres. And then the user makes a choice, say like 23 for reggae. And we just have it coded to print out the HTML of that page. So what we're looking for here is um, the names of the tracks because we need to print them out along with their rank 1 through 50. So it looks like all of the tracks are stored in these H2 tags as well as these article tags. And they're also stored in the A tags. But it doesn't seem like much else is stored in the H2 tags so it might be safe to use those. So let's just give it a try. So we're going to say tracks equals soup dot select h2. And then let's print them all out to debug. So for track and tracks, print track. I'm going to rerun it. So this will narrow us. We'll probably need to narrow search a little bit. Once this loads up, select four. Um, select one of these and one. All right, so I printed out all the H twos. These all look like songs. The last one is a song. Let's look at the top. Okay, so these first three are not songs, so let's get rid of them. We do that like four. Instead of two colon, we're gonna say three colon. So add the square brackets and say three colon. And that should get rid of those. So in the next video, we're going to go through all of these tracks, print them out and kind of enumerate through them. So, and that's probably going to be the last step. And after that, you're gonna have a, your final working program. So I'll see you in the next one.